didn't give me good vibes and also then his eyes were just very like you know they caught me because it sent a shiver down my fucking spine and not many things send a shiver down my fucking spine except vampires because i hate fucking vampires oh my god that's fucking terrifying oh my god this is like some vampire ass shit and i'm really actually afraid of fucking vampires kind of similar right if you think i'm just gonna show you two pictures and say kind of similar you're fucking wrong so, just as a preface, I downloaded Conspiracy Besties video because I think she did a great job. And honestly, I'm not going to duet it because I, we'd be overlapping when we talk and I'm not going to stitch it because I need more than five seconds. Let me just play the parts that are relevant to this video. And if you're interested, go check out the rest of her video. She'll be tagged in the caption or something. It is. <laughs> and here it says, the first time with my hubby's friend. So, Brittany has never met him? But wait. He was even at the wedding. I've seen that smile before. Could this be the explanation for when this glitch occurred? And this muscular person glitches out of nowhere? Is this a person that we see glitch in Britney's videos constantly? Holy shit, it just got muscular. Even though he's clearly been in her garage. And spoiler alert, the reason I was gonna do uh, augmented reality and Instagram face filters is because look at this clip so same garage that this video of Brittany is not real there's a face mask on her um, you can see it when you freeze the frames it's weird you can also see it in the way they're recording do you remember previously I had said like you know how do we know the tattoos aren't flipped turns out I was wrong but I was also a little correct I said Normally, if you're filming selfie mode, it will flip the image for you unless you're doing a Facebook filter or an Instagram filter or a TikTok filter. Then it's recording the screen. Then why would you always be recording a selfie? Why would you always need a filter? Probably because it's not your face. It just got me thinking. The thing that has been bothering me for the last few weeks with um, Kate and me is Kate has sad eyes, actually. And sometimes when the scary clips come, like uh, the vampire clip right here, that's a very sharp eye. Nose. It's like Kate's. But, distinctively, he has the sharp eyes I've been looking for. I didn't think anyone in her circle had those fucking sharp eyes that had access. Okay, I've already aligned the image. Like, I'm not gonna, like, show you that. If you wanna watch it, let me know in the comments. Like, I put it in series, you can buy it for, like, 99 cents or some shit. But, like, honestly, it just takes a lot of time. It's a lot to edit out. So, they're already aligned to the best fitting that I could see. And so, when I say, I changed opacity. Opacity means transparency of the images. Watch. You see the numbers go up? It's gonna fill the image now. Unlike Project Rose, where we were looking for an exact copy because the pictures would have been photoshopped. Not alignment per se, but if you can get most of them and they seem to fit and be the same size and equal distance on the face, that's what we're looking for. It's a little bit more difficult, you know what I mean? So we'll just have to try for different sizes because of the motion of how they're moving. You're not going to get a perfect fit every time. But if we can get a good idea, an estimation of the person's face, that's good enough. You see? Now let's go backwards from 100. And that's all it's doing. I overlaid the images together. It's an overlay. Doesn't that look like Mr. Mister? Just saying. For me, it's a good alley to walk down if most of the features line up. Because they have to have similar face shapes though. The face shape could be different, but do you see how it lined up still? Interesting, right? So that's what I'm doing. I do the same thing in Photoshop. The difference is in Photoshop, what do you get that you don't get here? You can make it a movie because it's moving pictures. Whereas Photoshop, I just save it and I have to show you in real time. Imagine it wasn't recording. I'd be so fucking mad. This guy's got some little dinosaur teeth. Whoa, uncanny. All right, so let's talk about them fucking teeth, huh? So this is the teeth. And we're overlaying the images and we're going to try to line the teeth as best as we can. Again, I'm not looking for a perfect image, but I want to see if the gap with AI some spaces might fill in because remember they're, they're trying to get it to look like her teeth um but if for the most part it kind of looks like it fits it's kind of a match y'all so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna draw the shape of some of the pieces of teeth that we're looking to see if there's a match i'm gonna draw the line here where the gap is i'm gonna draw where the other things so we can see the difference when it morphs and if it kind of pretty much aligns then we'll know so what you'll notice is the gap lined up pretty well, the second incisor lined up pretty well. The only one that didn't really was the one next to the tooth next to the gap. That didn't line up super well. But 
though, to see the difference, I'm going to outline this is the Britney photo teeth in yellow so we can see how much of a discrepancy it was from the dinosaur man teeth. Alright, so now we're going to look at it. I'm morphing it back to his fucking teeth and we can start to look and see how they're different. Alright, now it's morphing back to his teeth from her tooth. It's looking like everything else is still the same. There is a slight discrepancy with that one canine that we're talking about, but it's just mostly that it filled in that hole. And so check mark for the ones that fit, X for the one that doesn't. So to give you guys an example when the faces don't actually work out together, this is my face with Brady's faces overlaid. I matched up the features as um, best as I could. And this is what I received. You can see it doesn't fit right away. And then I'm going to show you the deep fake member that we made with Britney's face on mine and how it looks kind of fucking weird. So because the features of mine and Brain don't actually match up very well, look at this fucking like, weird Frankenstein ass shit. It's fucking scary. They already had very similar face shapes, so that's why we're going to try one, time, one more time with another photo to see if their face features line up. And lo and behold. And let's play it one more time for the pretty people. At the end of this, I also included some fake deeps I did on the Fake Deeper app that shows his face on her body so that you can see if it kind of looks like a match. I'm not gonna lie, wouldn't have fucking included it if I didn't think so. Now right now it would be kind of physically impossible to get a 100% match, but like I said, just wanted to check it out and see if it was something maybe. This would be kind of like testing to see if a face filter. The problem is I don't have a Britney face filter. This was the next best thing. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good day. And on the next episode of Fucked Up Things We Keep Finding. We're at a commercial break now. I don't know, I don't know. Well, I'll tune in next week when we discover... I don't know, some shit about Avril Lavigne or something. This is some fucked up shit, dude. Honestly, this is so fucked up. But...